I've heard so much about um, Trump being angry and he's a fascist and a dictator, but the problem is when, when I listen to him, I, I, I don't hear any of that. That was a black voter in Michigan speaking to MSNBC, saying he did not think Trump's Madison Square Garden rally was fascist, as MSNBC has been reporting all along. Joining us now, an entrepreneur with years of corporate experience. He's also a community advocate from Detroit. He is the one and only Anton Daniels. Anton, what did you think of this voter's reaction to MSNBC's coverage of Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden, New York City? I think that they're reaching for straws. I don't think that people really care. So first of all, we've always known that comedians have been kind of off script and they trying to, they're, they're kind of there to drum up the crowd. But when I talk to people that actually looked at it, some of the people that were actually on the ground and witnessing it, they didn't take it the way that MSNBC was trying to paint it. They actually enjoyed their experience. And more importantly, it resonated with them. And the fact that he even sold out Madison Square Garden in the first place was absolutely phenomenal. And it shows you that people are engaged with the Trump campaign without the celebrities. You know, it's really interesting, Anton, what you said. You know, by the way, Trump re is in the lead in the real clear polling averages. Harris's favorability has dropped over the last month, more disapprove of her than approve. Um, he's got a <laughs> slight lead in all the battlegrounds, and he's leading Harris in the economy, on the economy in a new ABC poll. 45% trust Trump more uh, than Harris. But, you know, you talk to a lot of people out there, Aunt Anton. You talk to a lot of folks. What are they feeling? Because, mm -hmm. Anton, let me back it up. The, we've got new reports coming out this week on the economy, GDP, jobs, and inflation. $38 trillion in U.S. debt. One out of four to one out of seven jobs are created by the government. Government overspending is boosting GDP growth. We're seeing the economy... And make it create just 115,000 new new jobs in October, Anton. Let's less than half of what it did in September. We're losing manufacturing jobs, Anton. We're in a manufacturing recession under Biden and Harris. They they only created like 130,000, 137,000 manufacturing jobs, Anton. That's a blue collar bust. You know the interesting thing about it is that I think that the polls are wrong. I think that his lead is huge, massive, because I'm on the ground. Uh, I speak a lot of times with, with the people in Local 600, and the people in Local 600 are saying, and Local 600 is a steel, steel base in Dearborn, Michigan, and I speak with the people over in Gary, Indiana, and Pennsylvania, and they're saying that they're getting laid off. If you look at what's happening at Jefferson and Stellantis and all of the manufacturing jobs, including over in tech, it's not even jobs that's being added that's valued by the people that need to support their 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 families and their wives and their, their children and pay their student loans. But people are suffering. And what I see on the ground is people are widely swinging, swinging towards Trump because they don't see any change from what's happening over the last three and a half years. So, Anton, having a beer with Gretchen Whitmer, going to her barbershop, Bruce Springsteen, <laughs> Obama, Beyonce, George Clooney. Can George Clooney talk to voters out there about inflation? What's your reaction to pulling, do, doing the celebrity railroad track? It's the same one that Hillary Clinton did. Does that play with voters, Anton? Final word. Absolutely not. It's actually insulting because instead of talking about the economy, instead of talking about how they can shore up jobs, instead of talking about whether or not they can pay their bills or you know, the rent moratorium is up, so more people are actually losing their homes. They're giving them games. And people are insulted because as Beyonce and Meg Thee Stallion and Leonardo DiCaprio, who is so far removed from what people are really going through in real life, they're trying to understand how to pay their bills in real time. And that yeah. comes at a time when you, you can say that when people are actually going through great times, you can be distracted by games. But when people don't know where, whether or not they can pay their bills and if they're going to get foreclosed on, that becomes greater of an issue. And I think that people are starting to realize that it's all fun and games. Yeah, it's painful stuff. Anton, you bring it. You brought it. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. The one and only Anton Daniels. Good to see you.